In honor of it being Black Restaurant Week, I decided, you know what, let's go support our best reviewed black owned restaurant in our area, and I found it. I found it. It's called Black House NoHo. I am definitely interested to get in there and get some southern food in my belly because Southern food just fills you up and it'll make you probably sleepy for the rest of the day. Which I'm fine with. I am totally cool with a nap midday. And with all the injustice going on in the world right now, I am putting a link in the description below which will allow you to either donate, sign petitions, or you can just share this link. It's very informative. It has a lot of information on there, so that would be the first link in the description. But now, let's hop into these reviews and let's see what the people think about this place because I am excited. We went there honestly for the birthday mimosas, but as soon as we walked up and smelled the food, we got excited decided to eat too. Drina, the manager, waited on us. She was amazing. The food was delicious. The service was fantastic. This is our new spot. That's what I like to see. When people define that as their new spot, it's got to be good, yeah, right? Yeah, I need a new spot. And I also noticed in the frequently asked questions, they have bottomless mimosas Saturday and Sunday from 11 to 4 for only 20 bucks. I'm going to have to go back. We are going to be getting lit this weekend for just 20 bucks. The food is out of control. If you see a review less than five stars, chances are it's from a skinny person. Well, in our case, that is definitely not us, so we're ready to, you know, eat until we can't eat no more. Yep. Thank you, the Valley of Change, for letting us know about this truly tasty gem. The better than Popeye's chicken sandwich was pure perfection. We also tried the caramel drizzled pound cake, which was equally just as delish. We're so happy we live so close to here, we can become regulars of supporting black-owned businesses. Wow. And look at this. That looks, I mean, that looks good. I, I'm, I'm a big chicken sandwich guy, so yeah. I will be the one to tell you if it is better than Popeye's because when I first had Popeye's chicken sandwich, wow. Yeah, I'm down <laughs> for the pound cake because that's what you call me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and look it, they must like it because he's got a t-shirt. Yeah, he has merch. He got merch. <laughs> Holy crap, the food is bomb. I ordered wings and barbecue chicken sliders for delivery, and honestly, this is some of the best chicken I've ever had. It also probably the only food I've ever had delivered that was actually hot when it arrived. Okay. That's a good sign. It's gonna be hard not to get food from here every week, and they deliver margaritas. Ooh, that's good to know. Okay, let's hop into the, some of these pictures and let's see what this food looks like before we actually check this food out. Oh, wow, this says they donated 100 gallon, gallons to the community of Lemonade. Oh, wow, and they're donating. This is great news. I like a restaurant that gives back. Yeah. Oh, man. Some of these shots are really photographed well, yeah. so it's gonna be interesting to see if this is what the food actually looks like when we get there. Oh, look oh, at that. Is that little thing. I don't even know what this is. It doesn't even have a description, but that looks kind of interesting. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Let's get over there and let's go try Black House No Ho. Come on. Let's do it. opportunity to sit down with the Black House owner, TC. Say hello, TC. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I cannot complain. Awesome. That's good to hear. So basically, I just kind of want to know a little bit about the history of this place. Okay. Um, for sure. So I am actually one of the co-owners. My business partner, uh, Lavelle, is also one of my best friends. Uh, he lived here for a while, and us being both um, living in Atlanta for a long time, we just thought this neighborhood really needed a little southern flair. Yeah. And we just thought that, you know, this would be really cool to bring some of the East Coast and the South to North Hollywood and some of the things that we missed about living in Atlanta. Uh, he and I both just decided, man, that would be really cool. Right. That's how it came together. How yeah. has COVID affected your business? It's affected our business a lot. Um, I don't want to, you know, complain um, because we are still open and a lot of restaurants are not. Right. Um, so, you know, we're really grateful that we're, you know, still open, but it has affected us. I mean, we typically, um, you know, have a lot of events here and we are a lot, a lot more festive than just food. Right. And, you know, one of our concepts was always to bring lounge plus great food and a good vibe. So now COVID is taking the vibe away. Right. And so <laughs> it's definitely no vibes that, you know, as much as we can, but um, with the social distancing, so we're not able to do some of the things that you know make up who we are and who we want it to be but we're still open so we're not complaining but it's definitely been difficult right and, and, and before COVID like were you guys doing a lot of delivery or, or no really at all no no absolutely not like if you wanted black house you had to come and get it excuse me if like I ask anything wrong I'm, no, I'm, no. Not, I'm just trying to educate myself as absolutely, well absolutely sure so like with the whole black lives matter movement being so prominent right mm -hmm. now like has that like affected your business in like a positive light or like 
you know, negatively? Like, do people come in here hating because, you know, you know there are racist people in the world? Oh, yeah. or, or has it been a good thing? I think it's been a fantastic thing. I think that we've seen an overwhelming amount of support, um, more so than we did before the Black Lives Matter movement. I mean, the movement's been there prior to, you know, the light being shined on right. it so much recently um, with George Floyd and some of, and Breonna Taylor and all the unfortunate lives that have been lost. But no, this community has responded um, in a positive way and they have come out in all different races and all different shapes and all different sizes. And if the ones that are mad, they just have decided not to come here because everybody that seems to come here um, are really excited about right. us being here um, they're excited to support us as black owned I mean they still hold us to the standard of giving great food great service and everything that we're about um, but you know there has been a show of solidarity for us and we've re greatly benefited from that that's awesome that's then, so good. oh I was gonna say on that topic I noticed like all the black owned, black yes. hat, like all that kind of stuff. Was that always there prior? No, I didn't even put that there. Okay. <laughs> I, and honestly, I come here sometimes and I see stuff that is hung and I never even, I didn't even put that there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I think um, one of our servers, Harrison, who is Caucasian and probably like, one of the cutest, all blonde, blue-eyed white girl <laughs> put the fist there. I think so. I know. I think she painted this sign. Um, Sean, I think I can't even remember. But no, I didn't even put any of that stuff oh, there. Okay. I just showed up one day, and it's like, oh, somebody just painted a sign. <laughs> like, there's people out there who aspire to, you know, start a business or or something like that. Maybe even you know a person of color that wants to start a business but is a little, you know, scared to at the moment. What would you like give them as advice? Um, so I would be encouraging, you know, I would be encouraging 100%. Um, you know, it, it, it's like you don't want to build on the premises of just black owned. Right. At the same time, you've got to do a fantastic job. You've got to work hard and you've got to be consistent. But if you have all of those things, um, it seems like the, the United States, the majority, especially where I am here, and I, I'm fortunate to be in such a diverse place in Los Angeles, but no, they seem to be really jumping on board. Yeah. Um, I and, and really supportive and looking for ways to, you know, to help bring business your way. So I would definitely encourage you to go ahead and open that business. Go ahead and, and oh, start yeah. that new, whatever it is that you want to start, go ahead. Oh yeah. I guess it's time that we jump into some of this food. First thing we are going to be trying is the better than Popeye's chicken sandwich and I can tell you by just looking at this thing this thing is thick they don't they definitely aren't cheaping you out on the chicken because the chicken is overflowing from the sandwich there's so much chicken in here that I don't even know if like it's gonna be a full sandwich because the bun is smaller than the chicken. Yeah, and the bun's so fresh. Like the oh my god, the, the bun quality. looks beautiful. It yeah, looks like such good it looks very high quality. It looks picture ready. Everything does very much look picture ready. So yeah. let's cut this in half and let's look at the inside of it, shall we? It has like a, a fried egg in there. I've never had in a chicken sandwich, but I am excited to try. All right, here we go. First bite. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! The name isn't lying. I definitely think this is better than Popeyes. Oh, for sure. Yeah, the crispiness of the chicken is so good. It's so crispy that the chicken is flaking off. Oh, it literally just falls off. See, I was a little nervous. When you go in with a name like better than Popeyes, like you have to be coming with something. You know yeah. what I mean? 100%. But I definitely think they delivered here because they came in strong and, it, and it's good. That is a really good chicken sandwich. And no cap, I can say I would come back for the chicken sandwich already. Yeah. And this is the first thing I took a bite of. So that's a good sign. And the potato fries are... Look Quality, here. yeah. They're not messing around with these potato fries. They are thick. Yeah, and the general manager dropped the food and then she even stole one. <laughs> <laughs> we allowed it. We allowed it. The, the thing about southern food is I feel like it has punches of flavor. You know what I mean? Like it really just comes in and wails you with flavor yeah. because it's this whole thing. Like this dish right here, if I would order that, ate that solo, like I would have cleaned this plate, licked it clean. Oh, for sure. Because that is good. I want to finish it, but we got so much so more much that we got to like... Come back. The next thing we got on our menu right here is the pesto chicken fettuccine and how it is plated looks really good already. Yeah, how are we going to do this? Are we going to, you know, lady and tramp it or... or oh, what? Yeah. I, I really hope so. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Oh, it's creamy. Oh, my well, so creamy. You can tell by looking at my lips. No complaints. Honestly, it really much feels like a fine dining. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you can sure. go into a fine dining Italian restaurant and get this, for sure. I don't know how I'm gonna switch on to the next meal because I might just eat this whole bowl. Wait, I want some more though. I just think, you know, maybe I should just finish the pesto up. Well, I think it's time for me to use the restroom. 
Bathroom review? Yeah, it's time. Go time. All right, I'm it. gonna keep eating this while you go. Let's do it. Oh, no lock. Oh. And this is Jake's bathroom review, and we are back at it. I know it's been a while since I've been here, but let's do this again. First off, they have a ton of air fresheners. Look at this. They got one air freshener. They got this little one that squirts out, and they got another air freshener on top. Cause you know they're trying to make this thing smell real good. They got my favorite thing, I know. I haven't been to a lot of restaurants, I haven't been able to use one of those in a while. Over here we got a bathroom, and we got, what is that thing called? I don't know, comment below, but you got two of them. I forgot what those things are called. But you know, if you mess this toilet up, you don't have to leave a messed up. And that's about it in this bathroom. It's not the biggest, it is clean. They're missing a trash bag in there, but let's go back to the food. Now that mac and cheese is screaming my name. Even though I am lactose intolerant. If you don't have some of the merch, pick it up, brandontaylor.com. So we got a bunch of hats left in stock too, so go yeah, pick those up. And Jake has his own hats available, brandontaylor.com. This mac and cheese looks good. It's yeah. got, pretty much they make it, and then they put a bunch of cheese on it, and then like, they And then they bake it, look yeah. at this. Oh my god, click it. I mean, I got the damn shot. I wanted to show it with our faces there, like. I can't wait to get in there. The only thing that I will say about mac and cheese like, is that I only love mac and cheese when it's super creamy underneath. Yeah. So we're gonna mesh this up and let's see how creamy it is underneath, all right? This is all legit. Oh wow, look at those bread. Oh my God, the cheesiness. You know, it's got a nice little cream to it. Nothing too crazy, but let's get in there and let's try this. Here we go. Hmm. What are your thoughts on that? I ain't gonna lie, Kraft mac and cheese have to go this way. <laughs> You what? Craft mac and cheese one. <laughs> okay, look, you can't love everything. Mac and cheese, it, it's 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 good. We're still eating. It's no, not no, like no, it's bad. No. I think we like uh, like American cheese mac and That's cheese. That's why this is like white cheese. We're just gonna have to pray for Jake later because he has to sit in the car with me on the whole ride home. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know we can't figure out the cheese, but if anyone can comment down below all the different names of the white cheese, please, because we are uncultured with cheese. But there's a reason for that. It's because we're lactose intolerant. Pick up some merch, brandtaylor.com. The next thing we're working with is a beautifully plated salmon Caesar salad. And wow, like I, I like this. You know what I mean? Like it looks like it looks really good. Yeah, so it has like pretty much everything you need. In right. Salad. It's got we got the Parmesan cheese, we got the croutons, our um, avalanche is it called the avalanche lettuce? Iceberg. Iceberg. I knew it was something cold. <laughs> you know, I've never really been a big salad person, but you know, with the way I've been eating lately, I think I need to turn into one. Salmon in that bite. I'm gonna give it a go. I can't wait. That salmon is really good. Yeah, that's some good quality stuff. Mm hmm A lot of times when you order salmon, I feel like you don't get like lemony salmon. This I feel like is lemony, unless they season it. It's definitely that. seasoned. It's definitely seasoned, and but that's the thing about Southern food is they season their food a lot, and you can taste it, and I love it. Mm -hmm. I love food with a lot of flavor. If you gotta add the seasoning, do it. Because I, I like the salad. This is definitely something my mom would order if we were here. Oh, for sure. Have you ever seen like your friend with a, something on them and you just didn't tell them because you didn't want them to feel upset or embarrassed? Of course. <laughs> I think we're a bad friend for that, probably. Out of the three dishes that we had here, you gotta keep in mind, there is so much more that we just don't have the belly room to fill fill oh, right no, now. There's no way. What was your favorite out of these three items? I'm really enjoying the salad right now, but that chicken sandwich is off the hook. Mm. The sandwich is really good, but honestly, after trying that chicken pesto fettuccine, man, this thing does not get cold. The bottom of this is on fire. Like, I don't know how they cooked it, but like, it's still hot. Like, and it sat for like a few minutes before we were doing the interview. Yeah. Like, they for sure have like some type of built-in heater in the bottom. <laughs> and I am very impressed with, with everything. The quality of the food, the, the kindness of everyone that's in here. Everyone feels very welcoming. Like, I feel like this is like a good spot to come with your family on a Sunday or something. You know what I mean? Like, it's got a good vibe. And that's Perfect. what we saw on the reviews. We saw people say like, the vibe is there was awesome. I thought, I think it's pretty quality. Yeah, you know? they offer like hookah, they have a full bar. They have cool little lights outside. It's a cool little space. It's a good you know? little ambiance, you know? We got a lot of food and I don't like wasting food. So let's finish this all up and then we'll wrap it up. Man, guys, that was so good. I highly recommend if you're in the North Hollywood area to come try Black House. It's a delicious black owned restaurant. We gotta show our support. We're in this together. We're all human beings and I do not tolerate racism. We gotta come here, we gotta support. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button. As always, join the Taylor family by hitting the subscribe button and turning on post notifications so you never miss out. Pick up some merch, brandontaylor.com. Until next time, I got some food to grub. I'll see you guys later, peace.